Good evening, everybody. This is Hedgen Lee again, back for a evening update that I'd like to share some charts and thoughts with you. Okay, so here is the daily chart for Bitcoin to USD. And I want to point out that the MACD indicator that I'm reading, that I'm, I'm using, is at a pretty oversold level. It's lower than the prior. This was wave four. And if it wants to go any lower, it could. If price does go lower, it could be a scenario where price goes lower, but MAC D could go higher. But from the looks of it, this is turning. Looks to be turning. It can fake you out just like here. It was look, looking to be turning here too. The other factor that I'm seeing is let's take a look at this box And this box. Okay. <coughs> so a fractal, what is a fractal? F-R-A-C-T-A-L. Fractal is a pattern that is similar. And it is repeated. At a different time scale as well as price scale. That is a fractal. <coughs> So here I see a peak. I see a peak here as well. And then it tops. Tops here too. Goes down. Makes a valley. Lower low. Lower than this low. Lower than that low. Tops, makes a valley, lower low, lower than this, lower than that. And then it rises, just like here, it rises. It's not an exact fractal, but there it has certain similarities to this peak and that peak and this bottom. It clearly is also hitting against this resistance. This is that blue line that I had been talking about. <coughs> but this blue line has to be breached to, to sustain and maintain a bullish scenario.
And this is here still. Acting as the neckline for the left shoulder, right head, and the right shoulder. There was one more pattern here. that I didn't realize or discern until later today. If this c completes <coughs> the right shoulder, so let's label it for clarity. LS left shoulder RS for right shoulder the head pattern If this is complete, and I draw a line across the bottom so for the neckline, and I draw a line So here's a case where you have a twofer. You have a left shoulder head, right shoulder. Whose minimum price projection I'm going to twenty nine twenty eight hundreds, high twenty eight hundreds. But I also have horizontal line and a declining line. That pattern is called a descending right triangle. Why is it called a descending right triangle? In geometry, you learn about the right triangle at the 90 degrees. Horizontal, vertical 90, and the hypotenuse. So it resembles a right triangle. How do you calculate the minimum distance of a right triangle? I draw a parallel line to this line. And here, what is this called? When the two lines meet, this is called apex. So I'm going to draw. starting from the uh, origin of the horizontal. I draw a parallel line.
on this parallel line where it meets the apex. Where the parallel line meets the apex point. Right here. This is the minimum target. 2729. Twenty-eight fifty-nine, less than, <coughs> little less than $100 off. And I think this is pretty telling. You have head and shoulders, Giving a minimum price t target of twenty eight fifty nine decline. This horizontal and this declining line gives a right triangle, descending right triangle. Minimum here gives you twenty seven twenty nine. Pretty close. So I, I, I hope you're following me up to this point. It's not that little bit messy, but not too bad. It's got two patterns. Combination of two patterns could be at work here. I had received a message saying that maybe this is a triangle, like so. So this line and this line here could be a triangle. So if you have a declining and then the triangle is being formed, one, two, three, A, B, C, D, E. Possible. <coughs> But form and fit for me is pretty important. If this is A with this much width and height, then B should have been down here more instead of greater width in time. So if A is here, B took a real long time, longer time than A. That bothers me a little bit because it should be like an accordion, wide, narrow, 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 narrow. It does get narrow here, 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 but it's way too close to the apex. It, from, from a form and fit point of view, it's it could be better. But even if it isn't, if we count it, A, B, C, D, E, we can call it. And this A, B, C, D, E, 
minimum projection. is the start of its the origin. At least this is the way I've been taught. Okay. But usually this means it's a continuation pattern of the decline. I would be surprised somewhere in the range of 27, 2600 to 2000. So in a way now you have three patterns, a triple combination, saying the same thing. So let me deconstruct this. We have a symmetrical triangle potential. Right, we have an A, B, C, D, E, and a decline. We have an ascending, uh, descending right triangle with a target potential of 27, 29. That's clear. We have a head and shoulder, left shoulder, head, right shoulder that should finish. If once it touches the neckline, it's complete. Once it exceeds the neckline, it's confirmed. That's giving a minimum target of 2859. And where the price is right now, and I always like to do that, I like to turn everything off, clear everything, and go back in scale to the daily. Now here, I told you how this is coming around, which is very interesting. That triangle has a greater aspect as well. So the key is, is going to break up or is going to break down. And I think what is a distinct probability if prices break down briefly, could be a brief jab in and up, but enough to get rid of all the weak hands to sell in panic. I would prefer that. Meanwhile, MACD could rise. So it would be a lower low on the price, but a higher low on the MACD, just like that hourly chart I showed you yesterday. Leading to I'm thinking <coughs> the bottom of wave four potential here doesn't have to be. Th this is not required. This still could be wave four. We don't know yet. Symmetrical triangles are points of indecision. We need a clarification. Why is the code break up this way? Absolutely. Oops. Like so. 
that will be quite valid. And the MACD will simply just turn up, just like you hear, just turn up, price will start cranking up. I think we will find out very soon which direction this shall be. Either way, whether wave 4 is here or here, we're going to get a wave 5. Just to give you the perspective. Whether it's here or here. And if you happen to just ladder in here, Miss this difference? Big deal. If you happen to ladder in here, you just get a bigger few hundred dollars difference more. But I believe from here we go to seven nine. From here we go to seventy nine thousand. <coughs> Not significantly different. Let's see what the overnight price action does, and I will follow up with you guys in the morning. Ending right triangle. Why is it called a descending right triangle? In geometry, you learn about the right triangle at the 90 degrees. Horizontal, vertical 90, and the hypotenuse. So it resembles a right triangle. How do you calculate the minimum distance of a right triangle? I draw a parallel line to this line. And here, what is this called? When the two lines meet, this is called apex. So I'm going to draw starting from the uh, origin of the horizontal. I draw a parallel line. And this parallel line, where it meets the apex, where the parallel line meets the apex point, right here. This is the minimum target. we can call it. And this A, B, C, D, E, minimum projection, is the start of its the origin. At least this is the way I've been taught.
Okay. But usually this means it's a continuation pattern of the decline. I would be surprised somewhere in the range of 27, 2600 to 2000. So in a way now you have three patterns, a triple combination. saying the same thing. So let me deconstruct this. We have a symmetrical triangle of potential. Where we have an A, B, C, D, E and a decline. We have an ascending, uh, descending right triangle with a target potential of 27.29. That's clear. We have a head and shoulder, left shoulder, head, right shoulder that should finish. If once it touches the neckline, it's complete. Once it exceeds the neckline, it's confirmed. That's giving a minimum target of 28.59. And where the price is right now, And I always like to do is that I like to turn everything off, clear everything, and go back in scale to the daily. Now here, I told you how this is, and here, what is this called? When the two lines meet, this is called apex. So I'm going to draw starting from the uh, origin of the horizontal. I draw a parallel line. And this parallel line, where it meets the apex, where the parallel line meets the apex point, right here. This is the minimum target. 2859 less than <coughs> little less than 100 dollars off
And I think this is pretty telling. You have head and shoulders, giving a minimum price t target of 28.59 decline. This horizontal and this declining line gives a right triangle, descending right triangle, low, lower than this, lower than that. And then it rises, just like here, it rises. It's not an exact fractal, but there it has certain similarities to this peak and that peak and this bottom. It clearly is also hitting against this resistance. This is that blue line that I had been talking about. <coughs> but this blue line has to be breached to, to sustain and maintain the bullish scenario. And this is here still. Acting as the neckline for the left shoulder right head and the right shoulder. There was one more pattern here. That I didn't realize or discern until later today. If This completes <coughs> the right shoulder. So let's label it for clarity. LS. Left shoulder. RS for right shoulder. The head pattern. Yep. And I think this is pretty telling. You have head and shoulders, giving a minimum price tr target of 28.59 decline. This horizontal and this declining line gives a right triangle, descending right triangle. Minimum here gives you 27, 29. Pretty close. So I, I, I hope you're following me up to this point. It's not that little bit messy, but not too bad. It's got two patterns. Combination of two patterns could be at work here. I had received a message saying that maybe this is a triangle, like so. So this line and this line here could be a triangle. So if you have a declining 
and then the triangle is being formed. One, two, three, A, B, C, D, E. Possible. <coughs> But form and fit for me is pretty important. If this is A with this much width and height, then B should have been down here more instead of greater width in time. So if A is here, B took a real long time, longer time than A. That bothers me a little bit because it should be like an accordion, wide, narrow, 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 narrow. It does get narrow here, 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 but it's way too close to the apex it, from, from a form and fit point of view. It's it could be better. But even if it isn't, if we count it, 